Willie Carson. Effervescent, enthusiastic, unpredictable. And Willie liked, he liked to be in control. Even when he had his airplane, he wanted to fly the thing. He wasn't happy sitting next to the pilot. <laughs> great talent. I mean, a wonderful, wonderful rider. Uh, great strength, perfect size for a jockey. And when he, when he was pushing away, he was, the, the rhythm he got out of his horses was extraordinary. It's a long way from when I first started. Um, when I still first thought of being a jockey, which was at the Allen Park Cinema, when I was, I think I was 11 years of age, and I saw this movie, The Rainbow Jacket. It was about uh, an apprentice becoming a jockey, and I went, that's me. And from that day on, from the age of 11, I was always going to be a jockey. Willie deserves recognition on this scale because he was simply an outstanding jockey and his peak went on for three decades. He was a model of consistency for, for getting a century a season. That, that came as like second nature to Willie. You can always rely on him to get a, a century. Um, and I think he did it about 25 years in succession, which is quite incredible really, isn't it, when you think about it. Life at wish as they come out toward the line. It's Willie Carson who wins the derby on Troy. Dickens Hill is second. Then comes Northern Baby. Elemental. He had a way of doing it, and he would kind of, and you would think he would be, when you watch him in a race, you think, I can get him now. He's, he's flat out. But he was never flat out. He always had more in the tank. He, he, he lulled a lot of jockeys into uh, a position that they didn't take him on too soon because they thought he's already, he hasn't got much left. But that was wrong. Willie had plenty left, and uh, he, he did that, and that's the way he rode. I'm Dunfermline in 1977, Jubilee Week, and winning the Epsom Oaks uh, for her uh, that week was a very, very, very special occasion. Dunfermline winning the Oaks for Her Majesty. Then there's the Derby Air Hub where I never left the fence and just screamed at jockeys to let me go. And it came from way out of the clouds. I would regard that Air Hub Derby as one of my greatest rides. No, of course, because it's the Derby and because of the the way I rode the horse. Arms come from a mile back. He's grabbed the lead. A great Derby winner. Air Hub wins at the length of King's Theatre. Third in his pen, Cater. He has a wonderfully disarming natural charm and I think that bursts through the television screen and very few people have that combination of expertise. Like if Willie Carson is going to dissect your ride in the derby, you'll take it. He's Willie Carson, he won the derby four times, he was champion jockey five times, he won 17 classics, you know, he knows what he's on about. But he was also so funny about things and I just, I think viewers really responded to that. They really loved him. Yes, I've done a few things in my, my life that um, um, being awarded into the Hall of Fame is, well, it's one of the big things really. It is a real big thing to be invited in there. <laughs>